thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. It's time for me to get my bag. And I get it. If you don't care about the sponsor section, at least check out the comments for the discount code KAKA to get $5 off your first purchase for either of the boxes. But Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us new boxes to check out. Let's see what they got for us today. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us free packages for us to check out. For those of you that don't know what they are about, they basically want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through the snack box. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakuraku, on the other hand, is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These gift boxes all have a monthly theme that rotates. For Tokyo Treat, this theme is Ninja Snack Adventure. You got a nice, beautiful orange outlining of the box, and inside there's a lot of ninja-inspired treats. For Sakura Ko, the midnight blue outlining with the theme of Flavor of Hakone, a place in Japan known for its hot springs. Let's look at what's in the Tokyo Treat box. You open up it, and then you get the vouchers, the different pamphlets. This one kind of outlines the different snacks, the details going into each snack. It's a nice little guideline. I just eat it. The sword is pretty fun. I use it in my SAO reactions. The grape one, very chewy. Orange Kit Kat. Kit Kat's always good. The chips are always good. The savory snacks, more chips, potato stuff. This one was very interesting. The salty shrimp one. Pandoro, I don't remember eating that one. This is a sesame one. This wasabi chip, though, was very spicy. The drink's all right, but my favorite probably is going to be the Kit Kat as usual. This ramen here, the broth, very interesting, completely different from the kimchi ramen that I usually take. And on the Sakura Ko side, you open up the Midnight Blue Box and bam, beautiful art of what could be the theme of this box, which is the flavor of Hakone. Brochures like this kind of gives you more details about the overall theme, explanations of the snacks, how it was all crafted and made. The first one right here, Mochi Mochi, that is my favorite one. The chocolate's nice too, but the Mochi Mochi, you rip into and you suck out the jelly. It sounds a little bit sus, but trust me, it's so good. A lot of the other snacks here are just kind of like salty, nutty snacks. Very good too. And more salty snacks. The chocolates are pretty good too. The tea is fantastic. And then the special theme. Sorry, the special decor, right? This is gonna be the monthly table item. It's called a marquetry plate. Look at the design. Behind it too, boom. Sakura Ko label on the back. And then finally, the box. Let's enjoy the traditional flavor of Japan together. Great gifts. Now, if you're still here, I applaud you with all I got, but technically you might have wasted your time. Why? Because I don't really make money off of you watching the sponsor section of this video. I make the money by you using the affiliate code to buy the product. And I get it. If you don't have a personal interest in this product, no one really likes getting pushed sponsored content in their face. However, I think these boxes could make great gifts for friends and family that wants to experience Japan at the comfort of their own home. And listen, trying to do content creation full time, it's pretty hard. But sponsorships like this along the way definitely does help. And you don't have to use the affiliate code. But if you're generous enough and you'd like to support me trying to do this full time, I would truly appreciate it if you would use the pinned comment affiliate code KAKA for $5 off the first purchase. Now, on to the anime reaction. This upcoming arc, the Assassin's Guild arc, has been so hyped that they have released a separate trailer just for this. The story of this show so far has not been just like nothing, but there hasn't been like an important arc to really dive deep into the story. So far, it's just been introduction of characters and having, you know, fun adventures. And now, I think the talk of some kind of like war is about to happen. I'm not sure if there's a succession war, but um, there is a tan lolly that showed up in her, you know, garden. Apparently, she like ripped through the fabric of space, which I think is actually not the lolly's power, but rather that guy Jade's power in the trailer, right? I was like looking at the trailer and kind of seeing what the different people's skills are. This arc is looking super hype. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can't even get out. Yo, we're just starting off super like fast, like already battle. Well, I should have expected it. I did see in the opening, and I was like, oh boy, we're going to get a Shota and a Lolly. How hard are we going to get canceled today, bro? Why did they got to do her like that? What is the 
reasoning that a girl that looks like this needs to be put in these clothing. They're probably not even gonna give us that bullshit anime logic of, mm, actually, she is a 9,000 year old demon. <laughs> Checkmate, Kaka TV. This is why I jack off to pictures of. Finish that sentence and you'll realize how fucked up this is. You're a child too! So she's like some kind of debuff? Poison? That is crazy. <laughs> Milam, tensor of Mao Mirim, uh, she. She does wear like a G, like a thong too, but like her booty was not like this. I don't remember. Uh, 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 oh god! Uh, and this also is the video that I put the sponsor video in the intro. Oh fuck! I hope they don't watch the actual video. I'm going to battle some ass assins, ass ass ins, lolly ass ass ins. ジョーカは現存する毒なら全て解毒できる魔術。毒。魔力による毒の性質変化。おお、イスタシャンスミテーションアゲン。ま、特に周囲に害なす力を持った者たちを。スペシャルマナ。コウヨブ。僕は毒
1v5 time. Yo, the sounds are going crazy. Oh, that's tricky. He uses the cape to like obscure the vision and teleport. Oh, okay. I, I thought that he said princesses for a second. No, the princess here is the plur oh, the possessive. I was like, he was making fun of like Loi for like being too like feminine. Hey, sama Ojo sama princess. How the fuck did he just do that? Okay, Mugiwara no Luffy. What the fuck was that arm? What, 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 what? Did a Luffy Why the fuck is this flexible power wasted on you when there's a pink haired girl in, in your fucking guild, bro? Why? I, I feel like, come on. I don't want to see this guy fucking twisting all his body. I wanted to see the pink haired girl doing that. And yes, I guess this kind of shows that he doesn't have to replace his, you know, rib cages to do the gawk gawk on himself. Warp The giant rat. What kind of title is a giant rat? I'm sorry, that sucks. Should have been something cat related. They're flexible. <gasps> シーズンです。はいはい。ガビバジ。ボール。ボール。力で無理やり中層を取った。おい、what? Strengthen. This gotta be intentional. This gotta be intentional, bro. There's no way. There is no shot. This is not intentional. This is so sussy. What are they fucking doing, bro? Also, why are you with the white sticky fluids? Why can it not be the pink hair girl? I just realized. What the fuck? Is that his pants falling down? I just realized. No! What kind of... D <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he, he has the onesie underneath, but that's crazy. This is Because, like, I hear the manga is not as, like, bad as the anime in the way that they whore out the Shota. Is this an anime-only thing? Because if the author designed... That is insane. Who the fuck? Fuck is the anime director, man. It's the same. All right. Well, they ain't beating the allegations. Oh god, he took it off. <laughs> oh, curse speech. This is basically like the guy from Jujutsu Kaisen, you know? <laughs> this is great on the right side. On the right side, it's clean. Well, why is this kid so fucking cheeked up on the left? This is... I think she'd be a great matchup for Sylpha, right? If we're gonna have like a MILF on MILF kind of battle. And she's like a swordsman too. She would be a great opponent for Sylpha. You're right. Exposing yourself at a time like this, the warning. You know, not the blind side, not the weak spots, but your goddamn pants, kid. Why the fuck you showing cheek right now? <laughs> oh, we saw this in the trailer, right? We also saw that in the trailer. Okay. We also saw this in the trailer where I was like, why the fuck is the trailer showing me this frame? It makes sense because he needed to remove his pants to get out of Gyome's sticky spider web thing. Tadia. Shares. Why are you getting turned on by it? Ow. I thought that she might not take damage, but the damage is redirected to the opponent. Sounds like she shares it. In this arc, I guess so. And he's gonna get new drip, which is even more sussier than the previous episode drip, bro. It helps me disperse my poison more effectively bullshit. Gyome is absolutely correct here. It's not like you're one to die. She is wearing fucking nothing. What, the poison comes out of your body? So it just, I... Also, it's funny, she keeps calling, you know, Lloyd a kid, but you're a kid too.
No, I think he's having more fun. Shame. You wanna shame me? He's going in! You're insane! You want to test that? What? Trace! Blade herself? I mean, he kind of did that with Aru before, too. Yo! The new drip, though! He's, was, he somehow got like a skirt. I don't know when the fuck that happened. Anyways, new drip. Silpha. Gotta be. <laughs> that was great. My favorite thing in anime is like the reaction frames from all different characters, bro. They say so far. That's right. Magic martial arts. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what was that? What was that, Gyome? Get blown away! Blown, and then Bulk's like, oh. 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 oh, it's a name technique. You didn't speak fast enough, but that's a good magic, right? I guess it really doesn't mean anything, right? If you can't keep up and say the magic words, then what good are you? Holy shit, this 1v5 is so fucking quick! Bald? What would... <laughs> Bald! That's dangerous. If I had that power, oh my god, I would be abused again. Bald! Bald! Everyone outside. Bald! They all turn fucking bald. That's definitely pretty fun. Anyway, so going back to the other topic of like how Lloyd seems to be beating the assassin killed 1v5 so easily. I don't think it really matters, right? Because while, yeah, they are important, I think the trailer pretty much showed us that Jade is the main guy. He is supposed to push Lloyd to the utmost limits, so yeah. Also, <laughs> I just realized what was on his head. It's Lloyd's underwear. His fucking top and butt. <laughs> also, yeah, 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 yeah. I just realized, because, like, dude, the sticky stuff, the sticky stuff is on the girl. So if he's gonna push ahead, like. Oh! I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> the nipples are just hidden the entire time. You still do it. I don't think he cares. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I was gonna say, look at that arc. But then, how are you gonna show me this kid's arc? <laughs> Damn it, this fucking show. I can't even fucking gush over the girls, bro. <laughs> Heal yourself. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Martial arts! Aru! 1v5 doesn't matter. They're just so beneath us. This kid's unhinged. He's fucking crazy. Yep. Yep. Huh? He still has the underwear on the side of his head, by the way. Dude, his skills, it just fucking sucks. It just turned into a fucking joke, bro. Okay, that's a you problem. You can deal with it. Like, why, why do we care? Yeah, you guys kind of suck. Another way of life. I think he's right. I think that this is the bridge into how the Assassin's Guild may integrate into society and may play different roles. Maybe we can be friends in the future, man. Even like Jade, who hasn't even showed up. It's crazy that we're like theorizing over a guy that hasn't even showed up. Saw him in the trailer. But it's looking like the Assassin's Guild, they're not really too evil. Well, I don't know. But it's looking like there's potential for them to be just kind of good people that could be our friends in the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Killing like a dad in the Donatron protect, man. I can't take you seriously when you have the underwear still on you, bro. The, the slap on the back. He just fixed them all. Oh, he has control. Fucking Lloyd. Just a little smack on the back and all their problems are fucking fixed. I hope we slap the girl's ass. Not Ren! But the pink hair girl to fix her. Sure. It makes you feel terrible for Ren, dude. She looked like she was about to lose her dad or something. Some crazy magic shit. It just worked. <laughs> that's gotta be intentional. That, 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 that's gotta be intentional, bro. What in the fuck? We just like saved our lives, bro. Dude, he must have fucking hated his power so much. Look at the way he's crying. I should be laughing. But he's like, oh, fucking finally, that kid's underwear's off of me. I've been cured. Spank. Nope. Do you even need the mask? <laughs> this one is actually probably the biggest deal, right? I think this guy probably suffered the most compared to everyone. Because, like, he straight up could not fucking talk out of fear of his, you know, his powers. Like, this one is actually significant. <laughs> Oh, Are we all friends now? <laughs> Ren. Ren, you have no reason to be wearing clothes like this. You're in... Wait, wait. Why did she wear clothes like this? So that she could disperse the poison better. But with this mark, if she should be able to have better control. Therefore... Yeah, you can wear whatever clothes you want now. He did touch her. He, tears of happiness. Tears of happiness. Wording. Wording. No, I think she always wanted to wear different clothes. Yeah. You trip. You trip. All right, here, here, here. <laughs> if Silva would be so jealous if she saw this girl, you know, put the new drip on Lloyd, man. Yeah, it's Ren's clothes. <laughs> He's even doing laundry! Dude, bro is doing laundry right now! He's washing her clothes behind the scene! <laughs> Got it? It was pretty fucking funny. Where did all this food come from? Hey, I see old rice. Charlotte. Pizza sauce. I don't mean. His name is Grimoire. So, <laughs> what Teach me about the Assassin's Guild and why Jade is gone. Did he say no? I don't want to listen to your backstory. I only treated you so that you could become stronger and have better control of your powers so that we can have better fights. And the more we got it, it was like, My lord, our savior, please allow us to explain to ourselves what's going on. And bro's like, I don't give a fuck about your life story. I'm sorry, I'm out. Yeah, Lloyd really doesn't care. Oh, no, I was kind of right about that. Teleportation. I thought... Well, I was just confused on how he, like, uh, Ren just, like, appeared out of thin fabric of space with that. I, I thought that was, like, teleportation. But he does have teleportation. Jade. Phantom Blood. Jade! Is this right now? He went to Egypt. It fits him so perfectly. He's the Pharaoh. 
<laughs> this is a flashback? Okay, okay. Did he raid a fucking Pharaoh's tomb? Oh, right, because they don't have control of the powers. Neither did Jade. I thought Jade might. Man, that sucks. You literally just get ported anywhere randomly. You're like, what the fuck? Where am I now? How am I gonna get home? <laughs> みんな。これを見てくれ。シャドウ。いや。暗殺者ギルドのエンブレムさ。お。冒険者ギルドも手が回らない。闇の案件を受け負い。そう。世の平穏につながること。Oh, they were just a group of people that were kind of like outcasts because of their lack of control of the power. And now they wanted to do good. They were never evil. They just seemed so fucking evil before, but they're just genuinely good people. Itsuka. Itsuka Shido. Embrace the sun. And he's gone. <laughs> That's funny and fucked up. <laughs> he couldn't even finish his thing. And then one day, we can- oh! Wonder where he went this time. Is Lloyd listening? Lord of Lordos. Um, some kind of domain that I'm not really aware of, but war is gonna happen. Jade! Teleport! 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 Jade? A letter. No. What the fuck? Wait. Not him. It's a letter. But with the assassin skilled emblem, Jade was able to send a letter. <laughs> I, I expected Mr. Fluffy to smell Kunka Kunka and figure out where Lloyd is, but she's the one sniffing Lloyd. That is... Hmm, okay then. Okay then. Lloyd? Saying he's good? Okay. I mean, the assassin killed her friend, but to them, obviously, they think that this is like crazy fucked up. So that is the other kingdom, right? Lordos, the Lord of Lordos. When things are touching good with, with Lordos. So this is the kingdom that we could potentially have war with. So now our little brother is going to the enemy nation where we could have a fucking war and with the assassin's skill. So this could stir up real big problems or maybe we resolve the war before it even begins. <laughs> maybe with Jade. No. The Assassin's Guild are hostages of Lloyd, and Lloyd is making them go. <laughs> it is of own choice. I don't think Sofa gives a fuck. Oh, it's the sticky icky! He got- she retrieved the underwear, dude! She got the top and the underwear! Bakura! <laughs> Explain this to Albert. Because, like, if you don't know, there's a guy there that has sticky web powers. And, and without that knowledge, and you bring back your little brother's, like, underwear with suspicious sticky white fluids all over it. What are you expected to think? What kind of conclusion could you possibly make other than the fact these dudes nut on it? And worse, oddly sticky. Shit! Kick! Honestly, I'm all fucking down. Let's go off of this misunderstanding. Sofa was just waiting for an excuse to fucking go, right? Albert's fucking ready. L uh, the blacksmith brother, I'm not sure if he's ready. But let's go. Shit! Kick! 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 See? The poor assassin's guild, they're just held hostages while Lloyd just like abuses them. <laughs> Lord of Lordos, right? And that's today's episode. What a sussy, sussy, sussy episode. Oh my god, the amount of fan service. They just start off by just giving us lolly and show the fan service. This gotta be the most cheeked up fucking lolly that I have ever seen in my fucking life. The reason why she wears that, uh, something about...
spreading poison is easier when she's like almost naked. I don't fucking know. That's the explanation they gave us. So the Assassin's Guild, we thought were like this evil terrorist group that's so strong. And they basically misunderstood. They're a group of people that didn't have control over their powers that was kind of united by Jade. The guild existed to have them participate in quests that regular adventurers wouldn't do while at the same time leaving behind a little insignia to show them that you know the assassins feel they do care about world peace but unfortunately they just turn into the most like like scared group like everyone just like scared them right i don't think their reputation is very good at all lloyd going you know showing us you know martial arts magic but also swordsmanship and she's just basically combining all three in one go right it was fucking sick. The fights were amazing. It was also funny as fuck at the same time. So much fan service, so much jokes, but the action too was really good. This got it, ale guy. Got it, ale guy, man. The Assassin's Guild, they're just like a nice group of family. I hope they're gonna be fine. And from based on the trailer, it does seem like Jade is the main person that Lloyd is gonna have the most fun with. So we are now going to Lord of Lordos because apparently the letter that Jade ported here said to go there or some shit. I'm not really sure, but he's gonna go there. He's gonna find Jade and they're gonna, you know, he's probably gonna learn more about teleportation magic because this is so cool. And yes, Lloyd's got new drip and uh, that's pretty much it. Today's episode. Oh God, that was a, that was a lot of sussy things. There's no way that the author doesn't know what he's doing when he does shit like this, but this show has been pretty sussy since episode one. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.